All right, so I'm gonna be making this video. Um, I don't have an iPhone X, but I had a customer that had this issue. Basically, their iPhone X, when they press the button on this side, all it would do was um, pop up the Siri. And if you tell Siri to do stuff, Siri couldn't do anything. All the apps, if you press them, they don't do anything. If you press and hold, it pops up that you can delete them, but I haven't tried, I didn't try deleting them. But anyways, when you try and open any app, even the settings, nothing would open. Um, you can switch between pages left and right, but if you try and hold the power button to turn it off, it won't turn off. Um, so if you ran it, if you run into this issue, what I found that fixed it, um, was I was going to do, there's something called DFU mode, which basically lets you put your phone into recovery. And I was hoping that would get it to let me reset or not really not reset the phone, but restart the phone. Basically, it would force shut off the phone and then I could turn it back on. But um, basically, all I did was press the power button, uh, the, the volume up button, volume down button, and then press and hold the, the power button here. And after that, it said swipe to shut down, which was very weird because normally you just press and hold the button on the side here and then it would give you that power or shutdown button so I don't know what's going on I even tried force um, powering it off by pressing and holding the volume button and the power button that wouldn't do anything at all and the only thing I could do was keep pressing this button and Siri would talk but anyways the fix was volume up volume down and then press and hold the power but you just press it and release it real quick okay so again volume up, volume down, press and hold the button, and then it should give you the power off button. And this will only work if your buttons aren't actually broken. So I knew the button wasn't broken because the volume worked, and when I press this button, it would activate Siri. Uh, but yeah, it was funny. I was like pushing it. I was telling, I was like, hey Siri, turn my phone off. It was like, I can't help you do that. I'm sorry. And I was like, Hey Siri, turn the screen off. And it's like, I can't help you do that, but you can press the button to turn it off. And I was like, no, it doesn't work. And then I was like doing other stuff like, okay, Siri, uh, restart the phone, shut off the phone. It couldn't do anything at all. So yeah, hopefully this video helps you. I know this is an iPhone X. I know it's not, um, uh, but hopefully just telling you what to press, volume up, volume down, and then the holding the, the power button and hopefully it will give you the option to do that. If that doesn't work, then you'll want to Google DFU mode, uh, which is basically Apple's recovery mode, which I think you press volume up, volume down, press and hold the power button. Eventually the phone should turn back off. Um, I don't remember the exact order, but I think after that you like press and hold the volume button and this button or something or let go of this button so I think you press and while you're holding the power button and the volume button, when it completely turns off, you wait about five seconds, keep holding the volume down and then let go of the power button. But it might be different. I don't know that Apple keeps changing around the keys to press. Um, so yeah, if the quick up, quick down, and then holding the volume doesn't let you shut off your phone uh, with the shutdown menu like normally, then yeah, just Google. It's uh, D as in dog. F as in Frank, U as in Umbrella, um, yeah, DFU mode for iPhone X. And then look up how you can go into DFU mode. You don't want to plug in your phone to iTunes and then factory reset it. You just want to put it into DFU mode and then I forgot how you get it out of DFU mode. I think you just press and hold the power button and the volume down, but yeah. So hopefully you won't have to actually put it in DFU mode because it does add some um, complications. But yeah, volume up, volume down, and then press and hold that. Okay, that's pretty much all there is to that. My customer said that their phone was stuck like that for like two weeks and they weren't able to use their phone for a long time. And they had to schedule an Apple appointment. Um, at first I was about to give up when Siri and all that other stuff wasn't working. But uh, yeah, that trick worked and it fixed their phone and they were really happy. So hopefully this video helps you. If it does, please like and subscribe so that others can find this video. Again, I'm sorry I don't have an actual iPhone X to show how this works. 
But um, yeah, hopefully just describing how I fixed it will help you. Alright, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.